Hello everybody, welcome back to Talking Walls, welcome back to a brand new transfer uh, update, a news update video. Hope you guys are keeping well and safe. I'm on the road a little bit today, so um, as you can see, not in the, the usual office, but um, lots still to talk about. Uh, the, the most recent transfer update was only a couple of days ago, um, so you know, as always, especially during the sort of the last few days of the window, things start to ramp up and um, there's been some big news as well. So we'll talk about that. Uh, before we get started, our channel partners over at Football Prizes have, have once again got a fantastic prize draw uh, with some Wolves goodies up for grabs. It was a massive prize draw last week. So uh, big thanks to anyone that got involved. But once again, another one with loads of prizes up for grabs. Uh, prize draw ends on Wednesday and the link in the top of the description. But big, big news is that Jao Gomez, the Flamengo midfielder, He's finally on his way to Wolves. It's been ongoing for the last couple of weeks or so. Um, Wolves had agreed a deal in principle. French club Lyon attempted to hijack that deal. And uh, everything was in limbo. The player wanted Wolves, but Flamengo wanted to sell to Lyon because it was a slightly uh, better offer for them. And for the last week or so, we we really haven't known what, what was going to happen. It looked like Lyon were going to win the race. They had representatives over in Rio de Janeiro talking to the player directly, but he kept to his word and he is coming to Wolves. He's going to be travelling uh, to England over the weekend to make sure he signs and gets his medical done before Tuesday's deadline. Now, details on the deal are that Wolves will be paying an 18.7 million uh, euro fee plus 1.5 million in add-ons and there will be a 10% sell-on fee uh, for Flamengo as well. So, Wolves have decided to... They did match Leon's offer in the end. Uh, a lot of people were disappointed uh, that Wolves had to had to do that but I suppose for Wolves it was only around a million pounds more and, and really they didn't want to get into this issue like we have seen with the likes of Enzo Fernandez recently where we sort of don't go all out on a player and and we end up you know looking at a player in Enzo Fernandez's case who's worth 100 million pounds plus right now so uh Jao Gomez to Wolves really excited about this one and uh yeah should be official before Tuesday's uh deadline um some of the news that has been going on over the last few days Danny Carver how what a signing that would be for Wolves this looks like one for the summer rather than January but uh Danny Carver how who's the current Real Madrid right back um very very well experienced been at Real Madrid a long long time and so decorated as a player, you look at his honours list, five Champions Leagues in there among many other Cups and League titles for him. Now, he's played under Lopetegui before, he's been full of praise for Lopetegui before, and uh, it's pretty well documented that he's good friends with Pablo Sorabia as well, who has just joined Wolves. Um, so I would assume Carvalho will see the season out with Real Madrid and then Wolves will look to maybe bring him in in the summer. But I think that would be a fantastic signing for Wolves. Early days on that one yet, uh, but I'm sure between now and the summer we'll start to see some more news on that if uh, that is the case. Ezi Abdi as well, he's a Barcelona winger at the moment. He's out on loan at Osasuna. Wolves were linked with him before, um, predominantly in the summer when there were talks of a potential swap deal for Ruben Neves to Barcelona. Um, it's cropped up again now. The, it said that Barcelona are pretty satisfied with how he's getting on um, at Osasuna at the moment, um, but would want a fairly substantial fee if they were to let him go. They're willing to, to maybe have a look at him uh, in the first team picture in the summer from pre-season. But Wolves are apparently interested. But once again, I think the Ruben Neves thing to Barcelona is not over. Um, until he signs a new contract, if he signs a new contract at Wolves, we're always going to get this talk of Ruben Neves to Barcelona. So I'm sure a swap deal will probably be spoken about again between now and the summer for Ezi Abdi, who's a winger. Couple of loan deals, of course, we saw um, Bentley, Daniel Bentley joined Wolves a couple of days ago. We've already done a video on that if you want to check that one out. Um, going the other way was Matea Sarkic. He joined Stoke City um, in the Championship and joining him at Stoke is Kiana Hoover. Now, this one came about quite quickly. Of course, his loan at PSV had been terminated. Um, they'd done some sort of deal with Wolves uh, when, obviously, Fabio Silva joined the Dutch club. Um, so, Kiana Hoover returned back to Wolves and this morning we had the news that he was going to be, uh, Keanu Hoover was having his medical at Stoke City and it was confirmed around lunchtime today. So interesting move that for Hoover. Obviously a player when Wolves signed him full of potential, full of promise. And for one reason or another, 
it could be down to application, work rate, attitude, I don't know. Um, it just He hasn't improved or hasn't progressed at the rate Wolves wanted him to. So the Championship's an interesting one. Um, I think, you know, it's going to get him... You can get a lot of Premier League players find their feet in the Championship. So this will be... could be make or break for Keanu Hoover. But a good low move, a decent... Well, it's a, a, a big Championship club, if I'm honest, in Stoke City. And a team that could pos possibly push for the playoffs as well between now and the end of the season. But uh, the uh, final piece of news is Jackson Smith, a goalkeeper, uh, predominantly playing for Wolves under-21s. Um, he did play a couple of pre-season games for the first team as well. Has completed a low move over to Warsaw. So best of luck to Jackson Smith for the rest of the season. Guys, do let me know your thoughts on the rest of the news. Of course, over the weekend, we will have a in-depth video on the Zhao Gomez move. And of course, if there's any other big transfer news, this is the place to be, so be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and until next time, guys, I'll see you very, very soon.